All right, we've got the Algebra 2 Advanced um, Homework Tutorial video for 3-1A. All right, number two. By the way, if uh, this is going too fast, slow it down, okay? Um, I did five problems, number two, six, and ten, number 13, and number 28. All right, number two, y equals seven minus x and x plus 3y is equal to 7. y1, bring it that into standard form. y2, we're going to solve for y. So move my x over. 3y is negative x plus 7. I'm going to divide by 3. That gives me y is negative one third x plus seven thirds. Do my table. Do my graphs. Okay, so I start that at um, seven and do my negative x slope, my negative one slope. Then I do 7 thirds, which is 2 and a third, with a negative 1 third slope. I find my intersection at um, 7, 0. Plug that into my calculator. Plug the uh, negative, seven, negative x plus 7 and the negative 1 third x plus 7 thirds into my calculator and I find that 7, 0, and 0 then I show excuse me whew, excuse me I show my numbers above and below to show my work alright number 6 I have x minus y is negative 1 and 2x plus 2y is 10. Okay. y1 is x minus y is negative 1. I subtract my x. Negative y is negative x minus 1. Divide by negative 1. And we get y is x plus 1. Graph that out. y2. 2x plus 2y equals 10. Subtract my 2x. 2y is negative 2x plus 10. Divide by 2. y is negative x plus 5. So graph that out. Find my intersection at 2, 3. Put my equations into my calculator and look at my table. 2, 3, 3 is my answer and I show my um, numbers above and below to show my work. Number 10, y is 1 half x plus 3, and y is negative 1 fourth x minus 3. Okay, I don't have to do anything to get those into standard form. They're already in standard form. I graph my y1, graph my y2, find my intersection at negative 8, negative 1. Put my equations into my calculator and I list them out on my table and I box my negative 8, negative 1, negative 1. Okay.
I'm doing this fast because my ca- my tablet's about to about to die. Plus, I'm trying to get this finished so I can get it posted before it's too terribly late. Um, this is my second time recording it. Um, but my my tablet is at 2% and it's rocking back and forth between 3 and 2%. And I want to get done pretty quick. Alright, number 13. Number 13 says your school sells tickets for its winter concert. Student tickets are $5. Adult tickets are $10. If your school sells 85 tickets and makes $600, how many of each ticket did you sell? Okay. So, students plus adults is 85. 5 times the students plus 10 times the adults is $600. We'll use S as my X and A as my Y. Um... Doing a graph is going to be way too big on this, so we're going to do a table. Okay. Y1 is S plus A is 85. So we end up with A is S plus 85. Y2 is S uh, 5S plus 10A is 600. Move my 5S. I have 10A is negative 5s plus 600 divide by 10 and I have a is equal to negative 1 half s plus 60 put those into my calculator I know that my answer is somewhere between 0 and 85 because I can't sell negative tickets and I know that my top tickets is 85 so I just scroll through. I found my answer where X is 50, Y is 35. Okay, so there's my ordered pair. So let's check it. S plus A is 85 or 50 plus 35 is 85. That is correct. Let's check the, the prices now. 5 times S plus 10 times A is 600. So 5 times 50 plus 10 times 35. That's $250 plus $350 is $600. That is true. Okay. Last one. Number 28. All right. You and your business partner are mailing advertising flyers to your customers. You address six flyers each minute and have already done 80. Your partner addresses four flyers a minute and has already done 100. Solve a graph and solve a system of equations to uh, find when the two of you will, will have addressed equal number of flyers. All right. So, start this out. Y is Y1. This is for you. You do six a minute and you've already done 80. Your partner four a minute and has already done 100. I'm going to do my table first and then we'll go in and graph it. Okay. So, when I do my table, my equations are already in form. I see that when I have, at, I'm at 10 minutes, then my um, partner and I have both done at uh, 140, uh, 140 um, flyers. Now, let's get that to write that out there really fast. Okay. Now, let's... do this t graph real quick. Actually, I'm going to move this over. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Okay. Actually, let's do this. because we know that we can't do negative flyers, so everything has to be positive, okay? So, y-intercept, let's count these by um, tens, okay? So this is 10, this will be 30, 50, 70, 90, there's 100, 120, 140, 150, okay, now, let's graph our first first equation, y1 is we started at 80, and we have a slope of 6 over 1. So 1, 2, let's see, 6 per minute. I forgot to do this. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 minutes. There's 15 minutes. There's 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. If I go up one, oh, up six and over one, in five minutes I will have gone up 30. So let's go. Um, oh, and I did that at the wrong point. Just realize that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, let's try that again. There's eighty. Okay, so we're gonna do in five minutes I will have done thirty. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, over to the five. Okay, and then one, two, three, over here. One, two, three, to here. One, two, three, to here. Okay. So that gives me a line right there. Okay. Now. My partner started out at 100. They do four every minute. So in five minutes, they'll do 20. So we'll go up 20 over five, up 20 over five, up 20 over five, up 20 over five. Okay. Well, let's finish this up because my tablet died and luckily it is uh, charging and it saved me right where I was at. It paused it instead of stopping it. Okay, so we are finishing out our um, Y2 equation. We can see right here where we have our intersection that is at 10 minutes. At 140 um, flyers uh, per person. So, yes, in 10 minutes, you have addressed an equal amount of flyers. All right. Yay. Now I can quit having a heart attack. And I'm going to let y'all go for the night so that I can get this posted so you can have it. Good night. Bye.